Brandon here. Today I'm going over steps to clean up uh, pinball legs and uh, there's a really easy process that I go through um, when I get some when I get a used game. Uh, typically the legs are are not are not good. Um, and they have a lot of surface rust. These aren't too terrible but um, essentially you can see on the inside of the leg that it's got a bunch of surface rust on it and then on the outside um, there's let me snip this off quick so on uh, some of these other ones um, you can see it's got some pitting and and rust just from you know the years so anyway um, the easiest thing to use is evaporust and you can get this at I think I bought this off of Amazon this is a big um, how many gallons is this I think a three gallon pail or something but this will last you a long time and what I like to do is um, I actually have a PVC pipe for this. It's a four inch PVC pipe and um, you can go get it at any hardware store or uh, big box store but um, essentially you you want it long enough that it will fit um, four legs stacked together and then you'll do uh, like a PVC adhesive so you put a cap on the bottom and then um, a screw and um, and then uh, just to stop like this and so what you can do is um, you fill it up with the evaporust and then you can dunk your your legs in in this and essentially it will um, eat away at the rust uh, and it makes it super easy to um, to get those cleaned up. And then when they come out, uh, all of this, I mean, it's, it's not going to get rid of all the pitting, but um, at least it'll give you something, uh, a good place to start so you can, if you want to paint them or if you want to clean them up, if it's just like a light, you know, surface rust, um, you can polish these up. I'll show you... After they come out, um, this is another product that I use. Uh, it's Meguiar's Motorcycle Polish. And I use this for a lot of metal parts. Um, and I use just some steel wool. Again, you can get at any hardware store. And so once these come out, you dry them off. Um, uh, rinse them off, dry them off. And then, then you can polish it with these and it'll shine them up like new. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna dunk them into the PVC pipe and I usually let them sit for uh, three to five days is probably about all you'll need. Sometimes I just kind of forget about them until um, I have another set of legs that I need to put in there. So it's not gonna hurt anything if you leave them in there longer. Um, and so anyway uh, I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back and show you what these look like when they're all done all right well two weeks have passed since um, I put the legs into um, the evapo rust and like I said I usually forget about them for a while until I need to pull them out and put something else in here um, but Evapor rust doesn't take very long to work. You can, it's going to be probably, you know, three days or so, and it'll it'll do what it's supposed to do. It kind of depends on how heavy the rust is. Um, so, let me pull these out quick. Make 
show you what they look like right out of the container here. This thing is going to fall over. Okay. So, we saw last time. You can see it got that surface rust off on the inside and the outside but you'll you kind of see that there's like there's usually a green I mean evapor rust is green um, like a, there'll be like a, a green hue to it and so basically once it comes out um, I'm gonna take this over to the utility sink and um, rinse it off and dry it off um, but you can see that, I mean, and they came out pretty nice. They're still you know, wet, but it did not, it's not going to take care of like, if there's already, um, pitting from the rust, it's not going to, um, fix that pitting. So that's always going to be there. But anyway, I'm going to go rinse these off and then I'll set them up on the table and show you how to polish them up. Well, I have them all rinsed off now, and so now I'm to the polishing part. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know what's coming next is uh, McGuire's all metal polish and some steel wool. And um, I've been using this stuff for years. I I really like how how it works, and it actually smells pretty good. Like grapes. Um, anyway, so. Um, I just go through and do one leg at a time, and you'll see it starts to turn black. It's kind of um, working its way into the metal, but I use this on pretty much, well, all pinball metal, um, unless it has like a, uh, like a gold coating or something, it will take take off coating or blue um, like ramp flap ramp flaps um, those have like a, a blue coating to them that it will take off or if you have like a, a brass um, I think if it's true brass it'll it will polish it up um, but if it's not it will take off that sort of a fake color. Anyway, so just kind of scrub it on there. I mean, these aren't these legs aren't the greatest. Um, so I mean, you can after you do the evapor rust, you can make a decision: is it something that you want to polish up, or is it something that you know, you get the rust off and then you, you know, have a good base to paint it. So instead of, if they were really rusty, um, this might be the decision where you go and, uh, you know, you take a, a scuff pad to it, um, in which case I would take a, a red um, 3M scuff pad and scuff them up and then get them, get them ready to paint. So, um, or if you have a powder coater nearby and the, you know, the legs are good, they would, they would go through and sandblast them anyway to rough them up. So you wouldn't need to do that. You could just take them the set of legs and, and get them powder coated. And that, that is a good option too, because that's going to fill all of your pits and things like that and make them look like brand new again so but in this case I think this is a DC candidate for for some legs this will also um, it kind of puts a little protective coating on it as well so the pits um, are not going to rust up right away. Uh, so I've, I've had good luck with it.
Okay, so now that what I what I like to do once I get one leg done, I'm just going to leave it just like a coat of wax. I'm going to leave it and I'm going to move on to the other legs and get those polished up or um, metal polish on them. And then once it's all said and done, I'll wipe everything off. So let me finish the rest of these and then I'll wipe them off and show you what it looks like. Okay, well here you can see um, once they're all polished and um, everything is removed, I'll do sort of a close-up view of. So I'll, I'll just say that you know, like I, the the metal polish is not going to fix pits in the in the chrome finish, so um, that's that's never going to go away. But it's going to shine things up and get rid of that surface rust. So if you're going for perfection, um, you know it just depends on the candidate of the of the legs that you start with, how good they're going to be. So this one turned out fairly decent. Um, it, it's going to you know give it's going to put a um, it's going to put a uh, a coating on it. So, you know, those pits aren't going to rust up right away, but, you know, honestly, so these, like this one here, has quite a few pits in it, and this probably would be a better candidate for either painting or, um, or powder coating, especially on the inside 
uh, a lot of the the chrome plating is has rusted up but um, this is going on an EM game that I have so um, it's it's fine so I think two two of these turned out fairly decent so I think what I'll do for that is maybe put the nicer ones in front and the other two in back anyway um, so it just gives you an idea this is a realistic look of of what the legs will look like after the Meguiar's all metal polish like I said I've been using this for years I think it works really well I use it on a lot of um, metal parts for all pinball machines so anyway um, hopefully you got something useful out of that thanks for watching